cool. I love filming outside. Random noises. Today I'm going to talk to you about a very serious subject that's quite dear to my heart. First person narrative. I love it so much. I used to avoid it because all of my first person narrators tended to sound a little bit like me. There are reasons not to write in first person. Foremost among these is the aforementioned issue of all the characters sounding like you. You also run credibility risks. I mean, if you want your character to die at the end of the book, and they do, and they've been narrating it all the way through, it makes things a bit difficult because Personally, as a reader, when I'm reading something that's written in first person, you're always assuming that it's written down somewhere or recorded somewhere. So unless you've done a fantastic job of conveying the idea that you're in this character's head all the way along, then, yeah, credibility just drifts out the window and wanders off somewhere else. Now, there is a third risk, I believe, and that's your first person character might not be very interesting, or you might not want to spend a lot of time in their head. So you have this novel written in this character's voice and it becomes a bit monotonous, then so does your story. That's a bit of a risk. But there are advantages, obviously there are, well, I wouldn't love it so much. And that is that you can write in quite a colloquial way. You can really get into your character and really explore their lives through their modes of expression. And you can just have so much fun. You can write in first person, you can write in present tense. Two things that are probably the most ridiculed of any aspect of writing. And you can make it really awesome. <laughs> you can make it compelling, you can make it immediate. And you can do my favourite thing, which is to totally screw with all of the laws of writing and some of the laws of grammar. As long as you know them. You have to know the rules before you can break them. Otherwise, what's the point? Another of the advantages of first person is it's quite similar to what most people would call second person in that you can feel as though you're really being addressed by the narrator or the character in this case. So it creates even more of a connection between you as a writer and your readers because you sort of engage with this story because this person is talking to you about things and providing you fully the other rules and making them interesting and giving them a distinct voice you should be on a winner there trust me because I'm a published writer with years of success <laughs> so to conclude which I probably should first person is a pretty amazing tool if you want to engage with your reader if you want to really delve deep into your character's psyche and all that stuff that I'm sure people do. But remember its limitations as well. You are going to be stuck with that character for the whole time, so make sure you like them. Make sure your reader is going to like them. And remember the credibility issues. I think it's worth all of the extra work that it entails. Because it just it allows you to break the rules. <laughs> That's the best bit. I'm really, really glad I got to talk about first person because it is my absolute favourite way of writing right now. I enjoy talking about it in first person. <laughs> I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.